on the behalf of Sacred Heart School and Adam and Nija from Class D C. Thank you. It is a profitable storm that occurs in the recent Pacific Ocean. It is a scientific definition. This is given by uh, is given by throughout the World Meteorological Station and decided the meeting was there according to them every scientist has given their opinion and at the end of this definition came out that is a tropical type of uh, storm that occurs in the western Pacific Ocean. This is a thermal image of a typhoon, Kainya, which is known as Typhoon Yolanda in Philippines and has occurred on November 8, 2013 and is the most and is the most one disaster cycle occurred till now. And it is the thermal image of November 7. November 7 was the day when it was found on the sea near the Tiger, near the uh, Philippines. But but it has touched the show or occurred in the show on November 8, 2013. And this is in which a day to last November. These are some of the points what is the typhoon. Typhoon originates over warm seas and can happen in more than 150 miles per hour. This, this 150 miles per hour is almost in this every typhoon. If there is a typhoon, if there is a large typhoon, it will have a speed more than 150 kilometers per hour. It's not behind that every typhoon will have this much speed because they are the wind. Winds are variable wind station or which can have any wind, which can have any speed at any time. And we also do not have a perfection in uh, finding them that at this time it will touch the show because you know they are the wind, they can deflect at any time. So we need to take precautions just before, even if we have a simple doubt that it can occur, we need to take the precautions because it can be as disastrous as anything. So Japan, South East China, the Philippines and the Mayana Islands are the most commonly frequent, are the most prone to areas to typhoon. And these all the places are then related to the area near Western Pacific Ocean. So the definition was correct that, that uh, the typhoon occurs in the Western Pacific Ocean. Formation of typhoon. Typhoon start up under tropical thunderstorms. The storm will put in moisture on the sea. We know that the sun constantly heats the sea of the Pacific Ocean. It is for every ocean, but it constantly heats the Pacific Ocean. And when the winds move from that ocean, it takes away the moisture. So when these both effects do together, the heating of the heating of the ocean by the sun and the evaporation by the sea happen together, it forms a circular path. It forms a circular path like that. It forms a circular path. As we know that uh, the air was warmer near the surface of the sea. So the wind which will move, will move what? Will be getting hot and it will move the sand. So it has rising. So it has rising. And when they reach a height or the altitude increases, the pressure decreases, and all this be the water molecules will decrease and it will stay there. And again, a heating of the air uh, constantly, the air current will move up and up and it causes them to rotate in that direction. The transition of the moisture into heat. The heat causes more, more air to the flow to the center and causing evaporation. And when these all the things are the function be again and again and again and again, it pressurizes at the center because the center, the center is the lowest part of the typhoon and has heat. So heat causes low pressure and the height causes uh, heat causes low pressure and the height causes high pressure. And we know that high pressure move, the air or wind always move from high pressure to low pressure. So uh, the air is concentrated at the low pressure. Then that, that pressure keeps on increasing and the wind have more than speed of 200 km which is a disastrous typhoon. Then uh, all the power of the typhoon lies at the eye of the typhoon. And we can say that the heart of the typhoon is the eye. If that will be destroyed, the full typhoon will be destroyed. So all the destruction also occurs at the eye. And the movement goes on as the heat is and the sun will stop the heat pollution and the wind will stop the move. Is 
Ayurveda textbooks are always seen for every time. It may vary, some of the points may vary, but almost at the same for each time. Has a daily solution to come and naming. Naming initially was done that a typhoon was named according to some mice, according to some ghosts, or according to the gods. That this god is angry with this country and is causing destruction. So these were not actually practical and scientists do not agree on this. So in 1945, the typhoon's official name was adopted. The official name was done to just communicate between two countries. But if a country has different names, like I've shown you a thermal image of Typhoon Henya. Typhoon Henya is known as it's a Typhoon Henya in USA. But in Philippi, the same Typhoon is known as Typhoon Yolanda. Means still now, in this, and as it has occurred in 2013, means still now the naming has not been proper. It is official because why go passing they do it in the same name all around the world. But within their country, they again use a different name. So we can't say that it's still perfect. Intensity classification. Intensity usually we see the how much wind, maximum wind is the same as the eye of the typhoon. The eye, I, as before I said, is the heart, so maximum wind is there. The intensity of the cyclone has classified maximum in the same according to World Metrological Organization. This again, an organization formed to just, you know, watch 